Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art logo. Pretty cool. They want to, uh, I don't know, they're engraving it on something. I don't really understand what it is, but uh, I've heard of the terminology. But he, uh, for your information, the one that I'm doing it for, uh, I would not invert the horse because then you, you wouldn't be able to tell it was a horse. But he does want to cut it out after he engraves it. So this is all one group of 96 items. We are going to control or hit the plus key on the keyboard and move that over. And then on this one, we're going to go to object group and ungroup it. And as soon as you did that, the boundary tool opens up. Hit the boundary tool and make a boundary. Now, the boundary made some lines, but it made lines on all the boundaries. So now if we go to effects and contour, we're going to contour to the outside with rounded corners, point one. And it's taking just a second because it's, it's actually trying to go to the center also, but we don't need anything but the outside and we've got it. I'm going to go to object and break the contour apart and get that outer contour or get that contour. And move it away. I don't really need that inner stuff. I could delete it, but an easier way to do it is to take a rectangle, take your smart fill, fill that in, move that over and up. Take your smart fill in a different color, just so you can see it. It doesn't really matter. Move that over. Left click, right click. Now, if we look at this, there's a cut line. Now, it might be too much. And it might be perfect. I don't really understand, uh, or I don't know what he's exactly wanting. But we're going to make it smaller. So now I'm going to go to the inside. And let's go point zero 0.09 and go to the inside. Go up here to object, break the contour apart and move that contour to the object. Now, I would um, straighten out, or if you have X7 or above, because this is a rough cut line, you could use your smoothing tool. I wouldn't smooth this out yet. I'm just gonna run over this real quick, and I'm just smoothing it out. And then you'd have to go back and forth to see if it really messed up your logo or not. I don't think it is. I'm just going pretty fast. And if we put that on top of our logo, and a better way even to probably to see it, let's turn our logo yellow. And then we could bring the red line in. And you can see the cut line is pretty much still on the outside. So you could still, at this time, you could take, because it's selected, just make sure you select it and you could go back and smooth it a little bit more. I'm going to make a second video on how you could get it into these ear parts a little bit better. Anyway, so stay tuned for that. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.